Hi there, uh, this is Murph again. Uh, I will show you how to create a Windows uh, 2012 virtual machine on uh, on the Windows Azure uh, cloud. Um, it's pretty simple. Um, so uh, once you log into the, your Windows Azure account, uh, uh, you you just uh, so, uh, click on this new here, and then you select uh, virtual machine. Uh, select virtual machine, and then you select from gallery, which I like. Uh, and then uh, you can say depending on the uh, type of uh, version you want uh, well you can uh, just go let's see here so I'll select this Windows Server 2012 October 2012 next the name my win 2012 Okay, you should give a password, so the account should be administrator, uh, and let's give it a password. Okay, uh, and small instance should be fine. Standalone virtual machine, and my win server. Oh, it's not available. My win. Okay, that should be enough. I'll keep it as it is, the default, and I'll choose uh, the West US as a region. Uh, you can select a different region if you want, uh, based on where you're located. If you choose a region that is close to you, then you have lower latency to connect to this virtual machine from your from your uh, network. That should be good enough. Usually, it's default is fine. Okay, so next uh, and um, available set uh, you don't need. Uh, I, I don't need at this point because I I'm just testing it. But if you have a uh, production system, then you probably want to do that. Okay, so now it will go through the provisioning uh, and so right now setting the virtual machine. So I will be pausing uh, this video and come back when when it's done. Okay, it looks like uh, the virtual machine has been created and powered on right now since it started staying running here. Um, let's see. Uh, so you see, it's, uh, it's all all good. Looks like. Uh, so uh, let's try to connect. Now, since I'm on a Linux, uh, the Connect will not be launching an RDP session automatically uh, because that's what it does. It basically downloads an RDP uh, connection shortcut uh, on your machine, and then if you are on a Windows machine box, uh, then you'll probably get the RDP client launched automatically. So it will not work here, as you see here. You download it, and if I open it up, you just open a text file. So that didn't seem to work. Uh, so um, I'm gonna go to one of my Windows machine here on at home. So uh, so this is a Windows uh, 7 desktop. So now I'm gonna try here. Okay, and let's try to launch it. Okay, that's fine. As you see, uh, now I should be able to lock in. Okay, accept the certificate. Um, this should be okay. Okay, now we're logging in to Windows 2008, 2012. Sorry, so 2008. <laughs> okay. Looks like we're in. As you can see, we are inside Windows 2012. It's going to load the server manager. 
as it does uh, by default. Uh, you know, do little stuff here. Of course, it takes some time uh, for Windows to settle down. Um, there you go. We're running a Windows 2012 on Windows Azure platform. Uh, thanks for watching.